Today's episode is all about the family. <laughs> Welcome back, my friends. If you are new here, my name is Marek, and this is Bersky Method, a channel about nature, laws of nature, <laughs> piranhas, raw feeding, and just some other, you know, type of adventures. So, if you want to see more, stick around. What are you doing there, bud? I don't know what he's up to, huh? See how big he is? He's gotten so big. You guys, he's like uh, 70 pounds, I think. What do you go? Uh, 70 pounds and uh, very, very uh, lean and muscular. <laughs> yeah, he's healthy. That's all we can ask for, right? All right, good boys are. Look at the shine on this coat. Raw feeding, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Zara, you're so confused. He doesn't know how to protect you <laughs> from Zulu. The Zulu is all about protecting you. <laughs> Hi, Zulu. Oh, you got slobber all over you. Find something? You're all slobbered up. Are you thirsty? Zara, you want to go and get some water? Got a stick. Oh, no. Don't chew it up. You'll get. Zulu, get back here. Zulu! No. Let's go inside so they can get water because they're gonna go in a pond. Rome, no. Let's go. Zulu, hutch, hutch. Let's get some water. Come on. <laughs> Look at these guys sharing. Your sharing spot. So cute. You got plenty of room there. Butts hanging out. Sour. You're being a thoughtful brother giving Zizi some space not this guy he's like yeah well I need all the space I can get for my big head it's an ambush So innocent. <laughs> What's going on, Zulu? Is he in your lake? Is he in your pond? Are you pissed? She coming for you, Brody. Get his up. Get him, Ziza. Hey, no, not you. Yeah, look at this guy. He wants to kill him. They want to kill the bird. <laughs> you want to kill the bird? <laughs> oh, there he is. The bird is taking off finally. Huge. Did you get him, ZZ? You got the bird? That's right. Mark it down there. Let him know who's the boat. What's up, my friends? I'm reporting from a the homestead. I'm a little shook up. I, I came out this morning. I let the ducks out um, and, uh, you know, all the birds, chickens. And we were, you know, just talking on the deck. And a hawk came down. I kid you not. Came down between the trees, between the cars, right down his ridge. And right there. Other side is a creek. Our uh, our flock was hanging out, and he came down, and he almost got the female duck. She was so lucky; she like ducked, <laughs> or you know, dove down into the creek, actually over the ridge, you know, and into the creek under the 
sticks and whatever there's a drop off basically into the creek and uh he missed her uh fortunately all the other guys you know they ran under the uh tree uh, under the you know branches and everything else for cover and then uh i quickly came out and made some noise grabbed some uh things to kind of you know spook him and things. but he didn't want to leave he was hanging out on that that tree right there see it or not but it's right up there i like got that tree so he could see us and watch the you know flock uh anyway it was so close i was standing you know like i said on the porch right there somewhere and uh so i nearly jumped out <laughs> that would have been bad I nearly jumped down to in a reaction of course I didn't I had to run down the stairs and such but yeah it was a close one so we are out and about I'm trying to get the trying to get my dogs uh, not just used to the flock because they're totally used to them but used to hanging out here and just being here without me like constantly calling or whatever Zulu has got his uh, you know he's got his rounds as I call it he goes around the entire property a little bit outside of our property as well and when unsupervised especially now that there's you know they're in heat again dogs are in heat twice a year spring and fall uh he's looking he's, he's taking rounds he went to visit our neighbor about a quarter mile that way and then he went over to the other neighbor you know pissed on his territory or whatever his place so luckily they know zulu by now but yeah you know probably no fun getting met with a 120 pound rottweiler without tags without anything <laughs> just approaching you anywho hey stay here buddy see he's doing his rounds again he does it like every 15 20 minutes if he's out here long um and yeah i want him to just kind of figure out stay put instead of leaving go and visit the neighbors all right so that's my quick report my friends and uh I didn't capture anything on video, so I have nothing for you to share that way, but it is a story time, Bearski time, story time. Big hoss. <laughs> I'm using my cat as an incubator for this duck egg. <laughs> Man, he doesn't even know it's there, but it's keeping it warm. <laughs> duck egg it's huge look how big it is bam massive it's your new toy you gotta hatch this egg buddy yeah tell him <laughs> wow it's so sick Sure. <laughs> That's our hatchery. Makeshift hatchery out of a heating blanket. Yep. Yeah, so uh, when we're leaving the cat from, where is he? From hatching duties. <laughs> I'm trying to hatch this egg for uh, an experiment. It's the first full-size duck egg that we've collected. So hopefully it'll be fertilized and we'll be able to test in a few days, you know, with the shining flashlight test, whatever. Yeah, these guys are relaxing. <laughs>